that metal interview. To all the Immolation fans, to all the death metal fans, uh, you're in for another treat this time in this episode of That Metal Interview with James. And my name is James, of course. And we had the pleasure, the distinct pleasure of speaking to Alex Books, guitarist for Immolation and uh, formerly of other bands, of course. Uh, he does studio work for Ruinous, formerly of Gorophobia, Incantation, and so on. And he'll speak to you about that. So uh, here he is, Mr. Alex Books, Immolation. Alex, we'll get into Immolation in a bit. Uh, talk to us about Ruinous. Is uh, the band still active? Yeah, uh, Ruinous is still active. Uh, we're actually in the process of uh, writing a new record now. So I just don't, I don't uh, really play live with the band because I just, you know, I, I'm very busy with immolation. So, but uh, as far as recording um, and writing, you know, we are working on a new record with Matt, who's the uh, guitarist vocalist. And he has a, um, you know, he has, he has musicians that are able to go out and play live with him. Uh, just, yeah, I just, I'm just very busy with immolation most of the time, but. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I can't commit to uh, ruin a shows. So, but yeah, there'll be a new record in the works for sure. That was precisely my next question. Um, is there a ruinous record on the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we have uh, me and Matt have a bunch of material written already, and uh, yeah, we plan on getting that together and hit the studio sometime soon. How did you hook up with Immolation? How did that come about? Well, we've been friends for. 32 years. Okay. So, um, you know, we, we, we started out together. We were all friends. We were all, you know, teenagers back then. And uh, that was the early days of our, you know, uh, the early death metal scene. And uh, so it was just basically my band, those guys, uh, and a few other a few other friends of ours in the inner circle, like Incantation and Mortician guys and stuff like that. And, uh so we all kind of grew up together, you know, we've been uh, very close friends, you know, since then. And uh, fast forward, here I am in the band. <laughs> How is it working with legendary Ross Dolan and Robert of Immolation? Speak to us about that, please. Awesome. Yeah, it's great. And it's, uh, you know, we, like, since we, we were friends in the early days, we were always very... Um, like-minded people and uh, you know, just how we see music, how we see life, things like that. And um, yeah, it's just, it's uh, it's home for me. It really is. Uh, including Steve. Um, yeah. You know, the four of us really, you know, we get along really well as friends and, and, uh, and musically we're all on the same page and that's kind of a rarity um, to have, you know, four guys that really get along with each other and, and uh, you know, look forward to going out and playing music and, you uh, and also on the same page, you know, we, we're, we're all very, uh, you know, we're, I, I would consider all four of us very professional and, and, and very driven, and we have we have integrity in what we do. Yeah. And you know, you want to go out there and uh, be the best, you know, what you can do. And so it's it's, uh, it's it's fantastic. I guess you got to be good friends and get along to survive on the road, huh? Oh yeah, I mean, I think the, the, you know the number one thing is the key of having a band. Um, you know, stay around is, is uh, you gotta be friends. You gotta be able to get along with each other and all because, you know, you, you can make some good music together, but if uh, you're just not clicking as people, it's it's not gonna last very long. So yeah. I'm sure you've had that over the years and tons of bands. I saw you guys did a European tour back in November with Ragnarok. How did that go? And is there any stories you can share with us fans? Oh, that was great. Um, you know, Ragnarok guys. I toured with the Ragnarok guys about uh, almost ten years ago. So I knew I knew those I, I knew those guys, and because like you know when I used to play guitar in Incantation, we did a tour with them in Europe, and uh, so I've known them for a while. And um, so when it came to a uh, a band that you know we needed for the tour, I actually suggested them, and that's our our uh, booking agency. And, yeah, so it was, it, was, nice. it was really good. It was a fun, we had a really good time, and 
you know, it's, it's that's also a great thing is when you get to tour with bands, you really get along with, and, yeah. you know, enjoy it with and stuff like that it makes things a lot easier for sure. So yeah, it was it was great. It was great shows and uh, yeah, it was a uh, it was a good wrap up for you know the uh, Atonement record until uh, we go back home for uh, finish the new record. Any uh, any strange stories from the road you can share? Strange stories? Oh, I got too many. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, strange stories. Well, I don't know. Nothing I can think of offhand. Right. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people I don't want to say. <laughs> you really don't want to talk about. <laughs> How is the European crowd different from American crowds? You know, years ago I would have said that the uh, the European crowds are better than the, the uh, U.S. crowds, but I think uh, the U.S. has been catching up. And they're both pretty, I, I would say both equal, you know. Um, mm -hmm. There seems to be more of a, obviously there's a, there's a younger crowd out there these days, because if there wasn't younger kids, we wouldn't really have many people to play for, you right. know. But, um, yeah, it, Europe is it's fantastic. Europe, Europe's always consistent. It's always good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was great. I've noticed uh, uh, the, the death metal scene is bigger in overseas and South America and even Mexico. It's a bigger market than the American death metal scene. Well, you know, I, like, I, like I was saying about Europe, I would have said the same thing. Yeah. But it seems the last few years in the States that things have been getting a bit better. Right. Uh, but, you know, South America and Mexico is fantastic. And yeah. probably some of the most enthusiastic fans in the world, I think, comes from uh, South America and Mexico, for sure. I agree. Yeah, so, and that's, you know, I always look forward to going down there and playing. You guys doing that uh, big uh, Mexico fest, huh? I saw that. Yes, yeah. I think that's in uh, November. November. So, uh, yeah, it should be really good. I'm looking forward to that. You know, there's uh, Creator, Sodom, Mayhem, wow. uh, Destruction, I think. Uh, so, yeah, it should be really good. Damn, what a lineup, man. Awesome. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Now, we all understand the schedules and when you play with a band, as big as emulation, I'm sure you're just super busy. Um, talk to us about incantation, gorophobia. Did you quit um, incantation because of conflicting schedules with emulation, or what happened? Um, and also, gorophobia, uh, what happened there? Well, incant incantation, I left the band in 2014, and that was just, you know, just differences in the band. Okay. Uh, I just wasn't happy anymore in the band. But um, Gorephobia was my band that, that, I, that I started back in uh, 1988. Mm. And, uh, you know, there was always a lot of troubles with that band, too. Just, you know, we were talking about earlier about, um, you know, people getting along. And not everybody was <laughs> got along. So, mm. long story short, that's why the band isn't uh, functional anymore. Um, but I actually am going to be working with some of the ex-members of the band on some side projects that actually we're working on right now so we actually actually last night we recorded some new music so really? I don't know what the name is going to be called but uh, Gorophobia yeah, so okay not Gorophobia but yes. ex-members we're all you know, working together on some, some new music so okay just got to come up with me <laughs> that's cool a little, a, a little insight awesome Thanks. yeah but you know like I said, we were all, you know, same thing with incantation, just old friends. Mm -hmm. You know, we all grew up together and all. And those guys are doing well too now and uh, carrying on. And uh, yeah, so, you know, it's worked out best for everybody, I think. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I read Immolation used to perform Morbid Visions by Sepultura back in the day, before you joined, of course. Is it a band favorite? Uh, well, for me too. I mean, yeah. uh, the first two Sepultura records, yeah. um, you know, the, the Split record and more divisions were um, a huge influence. Uh, right. Me, Bob, and Ross, and John from Incantation, all of us really into, you know, the early Sepultura stuff. And uh, so, fast forward all these years later, it was really cool to, to record the song and then have Max do the vocals on it too, which made it an, an added bonus. And I thought Max really killed it, you know, on the vocals. He did a fantastic job. So it's really cool to, you know, pay some tribute to a uh, band that had a uh, big influence on, on the early days. 
you know, and more divisions to me still, you know, one of the best, great, best death metal records of all time, and for me, at least. Oh, yeah. Classic, oh, yeah. classic album, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. We recently had Max Cavalera on our podcast. What an honor, man. Being a huge fan myself, and uh, what a treat for the fans. Yeah, and he's a fantastic guy, too. You know, we we uh, toured with him uh, a couple of years ago and had a great time with these guys. And Max is still super enthusiastic about the music. It's which is great, you know, when you see people are all around the same age and yeah. still, you know, even more so passionate about what we do. Who writes the music and lyrics for uh, Immolation? Um, well, Bob has always written all the music mm. in the band. Um, and Ross, for the most part, wrote a lot of the lyrics, I think, for most of the records. But I think the last few records, Bob has started to um, work with Ross on the, on the uh, you know, the lyrics and stuff like that, too. So Bob has a part in that, too, as well. Um, but the new record, I, you know, I come up with riffs and stuff like that, and I just basically send them to Bob, and, you know, if, if they work with something that he has, and he'll put it in there. So, yeah. But, but Bob is, you know, the sound of immolation is, is Bob, you yeah. know, so it's, you know, that's his, his style. And, uh, but one cool thing about working with, with immolation is that Bob has a very similar uh, approach to guitar playing than I do. Mm. So it really worked out really well, you know, when we started playing together. Because it's kind of like, kind of like home for me. I feel like I'm playing my own music too sometimes, you know, when I'm playing his riffs. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's a badass style. I mean, you guys have a bunch of fans and stuff. It's a badass style he has. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bob's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what's the future? Uh, what's coming up next for Immolation? Can you give us an insight of Immolation's future plans? Well, we have about a little over half of the new record uh, written. So we just, you know, got to get the last couple songs together and then uh, we're going to hit the studio pretty soon and uh, record a new record and uh, we're going to get back out on the road you know so right now we just have a few festivals booked but uh, as soon as we know like when we're getting in the studio we'll, we'll start to plan for uh, drawing for the next record so and um, yeah I'm real excited about the, the new music I think uh, it's it's a bit darker than the last record okay. um, a little bit more atmosphere more darker riffs I think on uh, the new one uh, I told them it was a really dark record too yeah. but I think this has got it's more it's, it, it, I think it's it's more stripped down like Atomic was but it's it's a bit darker the newer music and that's what we discussed actually going into the thing that you know we wanted the next record to be in a more darker direction and um, yeah I'm, I'm really excited about um, the new songs you know, and I can't wait to uh, play them live Wow, I'm looking forward to that. Wow. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, would you like to send a message to the fans? Anything you might want to say to all the Immolation uh, Ruinous fans? Yeah, um, look forward to a uh, look for a new Immolation record sometime later this year, and also the Ruinous record. And uh, you know, Immolation will, will be hitting the road uh, sometime later this year, and. Uh, We'll see you soon. Awesome. Uh, much appreciated, Alex. Thank you. Thank you for making time. Not a problem, James. We hope you guys enjoyed our interview with the great Alex Books, guitarist for Immolation, a uh, great, great talent to the death metal world. Um, you guys heard him speak about gorophobia, incantation, and so on. Ruinous. So uh, his current status apparently is with Immolation and support Immolation. Download their albums, download their music, stream, purchase their hard copies, support them live. On behalf of James, we appreciate you guys supporting us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on. Tumblr, buzzsprout.com, Spotify. Thank you guys for listening to our podcast, That Metal Interview with James. My name is James, and I truly thank you guys for your support. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
also jrocksmetalzone.com and don't forget to keep it metal that metal interview